Fixing Cincinnati neighborhoods, it may be harder than we think, and what the city is doing may not be working, at least not yet. A respected local doctor says our children are suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder because of the violence in some of the communities, all based on where they live. Nine on your side's Evan Millward reports. This is a story about children. Since Victor Garcia came to Cincinnati Children's, he says he's seen a 300% increase in kids with gunshot wounds. Kids like this young girl. There's one thing that's the same in both pictures. She has a smile on her face. Garcia came to a Cincinnati Council Committee today to preach the importance of neighborhoods and of collaboration. This is not something that we should, we, we might, uh, as a luxury, this is something that is absolutely necessary. Citing data, Garcia says in our city, it is nearly impossible to get out of poverty. Just 5.1% do among the lowest in the nation. I think it's really important that as we begin to look at our neighborhoods as, pe as places ripe for development, we understand what those developments have to be, how they're going to affect those neighborhoods, and how very important it is for people to have a voice and what's going to happen there. Garcia told city council members anti-poverty initiatives have to work together, citing a program similar to Preschool Promise in Tennessee that hasn't moved the needle. They're not dealing with the root cause. Uh, and I think that there has to be a balance. And when it comes to the kids, the suffering is a revolving door. Much of what we see as far as gang violence, at least when it's studied, is as a consequence of post-traumatic stress. Downtown, I'm Evan Millward. Neighborhood Matters. Nine on your side.